Welcome! My name is Lilith Alou, and this is What is Frostpunk? Today we are looking at a game called Frostpunk by 11-Bit Studios, the same people who brought you this war of mine. Frostpunk is a mix of city building, resource management, strategy, and survival, all brought to you in a post-apocalyptic environment where your biggest adversary is the freezing cold. Let's talk about the main objective. Survival. Your job as a leader of this society is to lead your people through this post-apocalyptic winter. The choices you make may not always be easy, but sometimes you have to set aside your empathy. How does one get to choose how they lead? Laws. You decide which laws get passed. Do you make your children work, or maybe you let them stay in a shelter? The laws you pass also play a heavy role in how much hope and discontent your society has. Some laws will help you win over your people. That is, if you fulfill your promise to them. If not, well, let's just say your people will blame you for the failure of the town. So how does one fulfill promises to its people? Mostly by building and heating. Most times, people in your society just want to be warm. It's cold out there. That means they need you to build them places to sleep, receive medical care, and good working conditions. The generator is what makes your town survive. But for that, you need coal. Yep, that's right, resources. Everything takes resources to do, from heating, to building, to even researching. And how well you manage your resources could determine whether you succeed or fail. Lastly, we have exploration. Send out scouts to see what is beyond your new home. Is there more people? Maybe resources we can use. You'll have to send out scouts to find out. And along with that, too, your people are also, in a way, a resource. Certain types of workers can work in certain buildings. I mean, you have engineers and you have workers. You also, if you want, could have children. Certain ones can work in certain places, and that in itself is also management. You have to manage your people. This game has been really fun and very dark. There's some choices that just really aren't easy to make. But if you don't make them, you could potentially kill you off your entire society. I think one of the biggest things is it's like, okay, well, you're running low on coal. And if you run out, your generator will shut down. Well, if your generator shuts down, your people could freeze. So you need to make sure you have enough of that. But maybe people need houses to sleep in. Well, you need people farming wood to be able to get enough wood to build houses or tents, or whatever, somewhere to sleep. So, it's definitely been a survival game for sure. And I think it's great that it, the biggest adversary is winter itself, the cold. Personally, right now, I can relate to that so much because I'm going through the winter, and we just got like two and a half feet of snow. So, I feel like I understand the tr struggle to stay warm and... Uh, fight off the cold. It really can be quite depressing. Um, but if you want to find this game, it's twenty nine ninety nine. You can find it on Steam, GOG, the Humble Store, Microsoft Store. Um, every once in a while, there's sales on it and stuff. But um, it's definitely worth the thirty bucks. Um, you get the first campaign, and then when you beat that, you get other little campaigns to do, or you can just do uh, endless mode, which is their newest DLC. Um, so you can just keep going and going. There is an actual end, and you can actually win. Um, or you can lose. That too. So, uh, happy building, and good luck. Keep the heat on.